But once he received it, he began to retract places that they had previously been. The Bible says, as soon as he received the mantle, he went back to the Jordan and he struck the Jordan just as his predecessor did. And the Bible says, and the Jordan opened Open. up for him just like it did for Elijah. And how many of you know that when you walk in a position of fellowship, you enjoy the dividends of leadership? Then somehow when you receive the impartation from those that have gone before you and you ask God to give you this and this is protocol for double portion. That double portion belong to those who have positioned themselves in a position to receive it. And so he positioned himself properly there when the mantle drops. The Bible says he received it. He goes back to Jordan and he hits the Jordan and the Jordan opens up just like it did for Elijah. Sometimes you have to keep spiritual scissors in your hand because there are some folk you got to keep cutting off because I'm trying to keep my ground from becoming barren. Ah, the reason why I cut you off because you are a joy snatcher. Uh, you are a peace robber. You, uh, I can afford to abort my holy lifestyle to hang out with some folk that got one foot in the church and another foot out of the church. I'm trying not to become buried. Uh, sometimes you have to divorce groups in order to walk with God. Uh, because everything that's popular don't mean it's powerful. Uh, uh, I'm trying to avoid my ground from becoming barren. Uh, uh, the enemy don't care about you coming to church, just don't produce. Uh, the enemy says, I'm watching a lot of you in here. Uh, and your movement in the house of God is not a threat to me. Uh, because you don't have no power in your life to run me out. Uh, you come into church, but you're barren. You, you come into services. You're coming from conference to conference. And you're going from meeting to meeting. You're going to this revival to that revival. And you're still leaving out of there barren. Uh, uh, so here the prophet said the water is not. The water is bad. There are two causes. Uh, two things that cause barren ground. One is uh, either bad water or no water. Uh, uh, that's what causes the ground to become barren. Uh, it's either bad water or no water. Uh, uh, you got to make sure that who sit by you is bringing good water. Uh, uh, good water, not bad water. I don't need you to uh, point out to me what she got on in church. I didn't come to church to be critical. I didn't come to church to be a judge. Uh, uh, don't be texting me in search when my soul is hungry for God. Uh, uh, God, I don't need God. Uh, I'm too busy watching the gates of heaven open uh, because I came for a point of the spirit of the living God. Uh, not only do you have not to have it, now you don't even want it. Uh, you gotta be careful when you allow your spirit to stay in a drought too long. Uh, because not only did the enemy wants to get you to the place that you don't have no joy, he tries to get you to a place where you don't want no joy. Uh, uh, there's some folk looking at me right now. Uh, uh, you used to be on fire, but now uh, you don't have no fire. Uh, you used to want to please God, but now you done got careless. Uh, you're hanging out with all kind of wicked folk uh, that done made you shift from being hot to now cold. Uh, and God says because you need the lukewarm, uh, hot or not cold, uh, he calls you lukewarm. And he says, I'm going to spew you out of my mouth. Uh, 
my walk with God is too important uh, to let any jack leg come in my life uh, and rob me of everything that God has deposited in my spiritual life. Uh, you can't be spiritual and carnal at the same time. Uh, uh, so here, he says here uh, that now you've got to the place that you don't want it. Uh, you don't have it and you don't want it. In other words, uh, you're saying, I'm used to it not raining. I'm, I'm used to it not feeling the presence of God. I'm, I'm used to not being in the flow of what God has for my life. And suddenly, you settle for the place of drought and the place uh, where you never feel God. Uh, uh, this is what happened in the text. Uh, they settled for the place uh, where they came, but God wasn't there. Uh, uh, I'm tired of coming to church, uh, and God is not there. Uh, if God's not there, no power is there. If God's not there, no, no miracles are there. Uh, if God is not there, there's no signs and wonders there. Uh, I'm tired of coming to the convocation year after year. Uh, Said we had a good time, but where is the evidence uh, in your lifestyle? Uh, uh, because a real encounter with God uh, will cause you to long for a change. Uh, a real encounter with God will say, God, I can't stay this way. Uh, I cannot be this way. You gotta understand. Uh, every time you see that woman shouting, uh, what she is saying is, God, I can't, I, I cannot afford for you not to reign on my life. Uh, everybody didn't come because they won't reign. Uh, some folks came for fame, not rain. Uh, that's why you're trying to get attention from others. Uh, but baby, if you don't speak to me, I just won't rain. Uh, if you don't shake my hand, that's fine. Uh, I just want heaven to shake my hand. Uh, uh, if you don't speak to me, uh, as long as God speaks to me, I'll be fine. Uh, I wish I had somebody here tonight uh, that would holler, Lord, rain on me. Uh, uh, that sounds like some folk uh, that want to trip, but I want somebody that want to be drenched uh, to open up your mouth and shout, Lord, rain on me. Uh, you get ready to get up uh, and rise. Uh, I wish I had somebody that uh, help me preach. Uh, push your name and say, get up. Uh, say, you fell last season. Uh, this ain't the season. Yeah. 